What's going on YouTube? Hello my tackle hoarders out there. APFA with Mystery Tackle Box for the month of March 2021. And that means prep time for me. Fishing's right around the corner. Weather's starting to slowly warm up here in Wisconsin. We're supposed to be in the 60s, high 50s. Uh, next week so we're looking forward to getting the boat set up and taking you guys out on the water for all the action but let's get into this box and see what we have a little preview of what's in there of course we got our what's inside we will go off of that and the first thing we have up is this Guggen Squad clickbait this will be the clickbait, sexy shad color, 4 aught hook, I would imagine, on it. It says 4 aught on the back. 3 eighths of an ounce. We will take it out of the package, of course, and get a better look at it. This is something I probably wouldn't start with. Possibly early spring. Fishing pre-spawn, you don't know. Once we get out there, we'll see what's going on. All right, so we have the clickbait. As you can see there, sexy shad color. Real unique blade configuration here. Let's try to adjust some light. I don't really know how this works, to be honest with you, you guys might have to clue me in. Um, I don't fish a lot of Guggen stuff. I don't understand this whole blade configuration setup. So if you guys know in the comments, let me know. But let's move on. Okay, we have the Biospawn Rattlebot Craw. Which is this right here, lipless crankbait, sinking, um, it says deep, this little rattle, it's two and a half inches, weighs a half ounce. Color on this is magma. A teammate of mine, the Goondocks, bought a bunch of these. He got a bunch of these in. They look real interesting. He got all the colors he could. So if you guys want to see a more in-depth uh, video on that, go check out the Goondocks. I'll leave a link for his channel at the end of this one. Real unique design to the thing. Uh, it's got that red craw color to it. It's real good in the spring. Hooks are pretty good on it. I think it's like a one-knocker. Ow, I'm getting hooked on these hooks here. Let's see if we can... got a deeper rattle to it. This is something we definitely would try out. Not bad from six cents. Well, wow, spawn, sorry. Um, just use them with soft plastics, not hard plastics. Okay, next thing we have is the Lake Fork Tackle Live Mimic Shad, which will be these. These will be good for a uh, the trailer on that chatterbait. It's three and a half inches, watermelon red pearl. It says by Thunderhawk Incorporated Lures, so they must be subletting lures out to them. It's got a mineral profile to it. We will take one out and take a look at it. Pretty good looking trailer. It's too small to use on its own, but you can see those segment, segmented body there. So as that chatter bait or bladed bait, whatever you want to use this on, is going through the water, you're going to get a good kick out of that. No scent to it. It's got a hook pocket on the bottom. Watermelon red, the pearl belly, good color. 
And too bad. I wonder if they make this in a bigger one. This is almost something maybe possibly get and use as like a fluke style bait. But up next we have the Gambler Little Otter. One, two, three, four pack. Should be strong garlic scent. Oh, that is. It's a three inch bait. Little Otter. Take this out. And check this thing out. Looks like green pumpkin to me. Good little finesse pitching and flipping baits on the back of your finesse trailers. Whatnot. Nice rib body on it. Got a little hook pocket there. Oh, I like. I love the scent of these. Okay, not bad. Maybe something we'll be able to put in a test tank to check out the action by itself. You see to get those little feet kicking on that. Check out the action on it there. It looks like you can split the tail on these. It's going to be hard for the camera to pick up. But it looks like it's pre-cut. Okay, last thing we have in the box is stickies. Extra wide gap hooks. It's a three pack. You could rig up a finesse Texas rig with these three yachts with this little otter. And that's going to do it. We got our sticker. We have some information on the clickbait, where to throw it. And our Devil's Digest. That'll do it. Not bad. Some of this stuff I will definitely be using. We may give that clickbait a try. We're definitely going to throw this bile spawn. For sure. In spring. But I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Comments are always welcome. So leave those down below. Last I checked, we were at 457. We are going to do a giveaway at 500, so you guys stick around for that. I'm going to get rid of some of those baits on the wall that I'm not <clears throat> probably going to use. Doesn't mean they're not effective. I'm just converting my baits to another company because that's all I'll need. So hopefully you guys stick around, subscribe for that, and we'll hopefully get to 500 before we know it. And I can do a video on, you know, the giveaway. So I'm going to stop rambling. Thanks again. See you on the next one. Bye.